Here on Mr. Lim Today, we will be kicking in to show you eight lesser known free programs that just might be useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and don't forget to turn on the notification so that whenever I publish a new interesting video like this, you will be notified as fast as possible. All are available for Windows, with some available for Mac OS and Linux as well. Let's get started. We'll start with the basic program first, which is Sumatra PDF, is a free and open source document viewer that supports many document formats including PDF, APUB, CCM, and many others. It's lightweight and extremely fast, making it a great alternative to Adobe Reader. The design is minimalistic with no clutter. One of the first things I do when buying a new appliance or vehicle is download the owner's manual. The files open quickly and for PDFs with bookmarks makes it a breeze jumping to each category with ease. Sumatra PDF is only available for Windows with portable versions, making it usable from an external USB drive with no installation required. Next at our number two is Screen Copy. Many of you have asked how we were able to mirror an Android phone on our PC. We use a program called Screen Copy, which is abbreviated to CRC API. It's available on GitHub to download it on their main page over here on the right. Go to the latest release, scroll down and under Assets for Windows. Just simply download the zip file comparable to your computer, either the 32 or 64-bit for Linux and Mac OS I if you're technically savvy. You'll have to compile the source code on Windows. You will need to extract that zip folder you just downloaded using a single USB cord. Plug it into both your phone and your PC. After plugging your phone into your computer on your phone, you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to allow USB debugging. Tap on Allow on your computer. Go into your folder for screen copy and double-click the executable because it does not install on your computer. Your phone will now appear on your screen. You can use your mouse with left click and drag the sides and corners to resize it and move it around. You can also use your mouse left clicking and dragging to the various screens and you can also open apps on your phone. The only downside is that there is no sound, but otherwise it works great. And at our number three is File Converter. If you want to convert any of your files, you have many choices. It's free and open source and at this time it's only available for Windows with just two or three clicks. It'll let you convert your audio, video, images and documents into various file formats. File Converter is a shell extension, which means it's integrated into Windows using the context menu in File Explorer. Let's suppose you had JPEG images you wanted to convert to the web format. Select one or more of the images. Right click and look for File Converter. On Windows 11, you'll have to click on Show More Options to see it. They should have named Windows 11. The Windows Extra Click Edition of your cursor over File Converter and select to WebP and that's all there is to it. Rolling in at number 4 is Transmission. This will be a quick one. At various times over the years, we've recommended the free BitTorrent client to BitTorrent. In the comments, many of you suggested we check out Transmission which is also free and open source. Long story short, we were impressed. It's not a resource hog and the upload and download process went smoothly. We also found the interface for transmission to be more intuitive and polished. Thank you BitTorrent, but really you can't go wrong with either one. Transmission is available for Windows Mac OS and the various distros for Linux and Unix. In at number 5 is Revo Uninstaller. If you're a Windows user, this one is a must-have. Normally, when you uninstall a program using Windows, it leaves additional files and registry remnants of that program behind Revo Uninstaller. On the other hand, removes all files associated with the program you've uninstalled, helping to free up more space, clearing out useless junk no longer needed. Another software where we will be talking about is Image Glass, which is our number six pick. If you're a Windows user that thinks the default image viewer on the operating system is a horrendous piece of something that rhymes with quit image glasses, your savior. It's light on system resources and supports more than 80 file formats. Next, before our last pick is Domain Name Speed Benchmark is for you geeks trying to get the best internet speed possible. Created by legendary software engineer and security researcher Steve Gibson, who's the host of the long-running podcast, Security. Now, this program will analyze the various DNS servers to find out what works best on your network. Our last pick is Brackets. For my fellow programmers still using Visual Studio Code for Microsoft for web development, which by the way, is no longer open source, it just may be time for you to switch. Brackets is a truly free and open source text editor for Windows, MacOS, and Linux that has a cleaner user interface without all the telemetry and hidden source code. I recommend you try it out. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What lesser known free software do you use? Let us know about it in the comments and if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell to not miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech related stuff here on Mr. Lim.